Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are watching me for the first time, I create content about hackathons, internships, placements, government jobs and a lot more. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and start watching. I can see a lot of you are watching my video but have not subscribed to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon and let's get started. So as you can already see, today's video is all about DRDO's Apprentice Recruitment 2025. This is a golden opportunity for engineering students and ITI students. So DRDO stands for Defense Research and Development Organization. Their Hyderabad Lab Research Center, Imarat or RCI is a part of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Missile Complex. They focus on new missile technology and defense mechanisms. So DRDO operates under the Ministry of Defense superheaded cutting edge research in different technologies over 50 laboratories nationwide. So that in that one particular laboratory is Research Center Imarat, premier laboratory of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. We all know about him and you get a chance to intern at, at that particular research center. So, uh, so just to give you an overview of the recruitment opportunity. So DRDO is inviting online applications for apprentice position of the year 2025 to 2026. These are for graduate diploma and ITI trade apprentice. The duration is for one year under the Government Apprentice Act. Let's talk about the key eligibility criteria for this apprenticeship. So this is the quick uh, qualifications that you need to check if you come, um, come under this particular criteria or not. So you should be an Indian citizen and minimum age is 18 years as of September 1, 2025 and you must have finished graduation diploma or ITI between, between 2021 and 2025 and you need at least 70% of your mark for qualification and your work experience must not exceed one year so yeah these are the different qualifications that you need to have let's take a quick look at who are uh, having uh, vacancies and different categories of position that are there so if you can see there are 40 positions open for graduate apprentice and 20 for technician apprentice and one 135 ITA trade apprentice are there. So these are different uh, openings for DRDO's positions. So if you are, if you can see graduate apprentice can be from B, B Tech in electrical, EC, CSC, mechanical or chemical. There are total 40 posts for this particular role. More details can be found in this particular PDF. Uh, like this is a PDF given by the DRDO itself. So I'll give the link to this PDF as well. Yeah, so that's about uh, different different categories present in this particular uh, post. As per government rules, you'll be getting a stipend. So let's take a quick look at different uh, process and application. So these are step by step. Uh, so if you are a graduate or a diploma student, you have to register on the NATS portal. I've given the link in the description. You can do check it out. First, you have to register over there and uh, ITA students can register on NAPS portal. Okay, uh, that is for the apprenticeship.gov.in. In that particular place, you can go and register. After doing that, apply for research center Imarat. Okay, uh, there is a particular ID that you need. It is STLRAC000010 or EO5203600004. This, this is the particular ID that you need to use. Okay. And after that, you must you must ensure your other link bank account is registered because your stipend will get credited to that particular account, right? So you have to make sure your other is linked to that particular bank account for you to get the stipend and uh, so these are the key dates of uh, the deadline so as of now the application is open the last date to apply is 30 days from the newspaper advertisement date but i recommend you go and apply as soon as possible the earlier you apply you have more chances of getting selected right you, you never know when it is getting closer the selection process is through shortlisting interview document verification follow will happen after that so you just go and fill your form really soon so a lot of 
so a lot of you might have question on how the selection process will happen right like uh, like after i fill the form how i'll get selected so we are going to see how it is going to be on so how selection is going to happen is it's purely based on your merit like after you submit your application based on your uh, merit you'll be shortlisted and the shortlisted people will be called for personal interview and then there will be thorough document verification like we know about our government right we will have thorough document verification and final selection will be based on overall performance on all of your uh, different rounds so yeah and uh, there are reservations for SCST OBC PWD as per government norms and shortlisted candidates will get an email so you just make sure you keep a check on your email id like uh, email inbox every day uh, so it's a general good practice not just for this particular internship it's uh, there for all the internship you have to keep a check on your mail if you are able to get it or not the main important part is what all document that i need to submit for this internship so that is what we are going to see over here so you need to have a printout of the online application and the nats and or naps profile based on if you are a graduate or a it a uh, person based on that you need to have that particular document and your educational certificates like 10th mark sheet final qualifying mark sheet and certificates of your particular degree right you have uh, if you are from uh, engineering you will have a degree certificate you are from diploma you will have a final qualifying certificate for that right and that you have to keep and if you have if you are applying for that reservation like for caste based reservation or pwd uh, you will have to give that particular certificate if it is applicable for you right and uh, government issued photo id aadhar card bank passbook medical fitness certificate police verification documents and uh, two recent passport size photographs so so these are the these are the documents that you need to keep as a check while applying for this particular uh, apprenticeship next we'll be talking about additional uh, informations like what all you should do and what you should not do and what you are what you should be aware of while applying for this particular apprenticeship is that there is no ta da provided for interview or joining like if you are if you are traveling for the interview like if you are getting selected traveling for the interview when you are going for uh, going to join the uh, internship right apprenticeship right that time will not have transportation provided and main thing is it is not guaranteed for you that if you are doing the apprenticeship you will get a future job in drdo this is also not uh, agreed as per drdo's terms it is just an apprenticeship if you want to get a work experience you can go there and get and any canvassing like uh, if you are trying to some other means of getting someone's influence and getting this it is not going to happen uh, you will be straightly disqualified and you must sign the contract on the portal before the training is starting for you and you have to follow all the rules and regulations of rci during your training year okay these are like basic rules that you should be following so if you have any doubts regarding this uh, like you can ask me in the comment section and uh, if you have any details that you need to refer this is the particular website that you need to go and check this is the email id and things that they have given for your uh, reference that you can use so yeah guys uh, i would say this is an amazing opportunity for engineers diploma graduates it students uh, apply soon and uh, prepare all your documents ask any queries we have in the comment section and by any chance if you have liked this video like if you really like this video like this video share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel let's cross 5000 subscribers in near future and thanks for watching uh, follow me for more related videos and all the best for your drdo apprenticeship journey